Hi, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to continue the series on setting up your sewing machine. Today we're going to concentrate on the basic classic vintage style mechanical treadle sewing machine. As you can see here, I'm just prepping it. This type of machine, the best thing for it is oil. Oil it, oil it, oil it and it will last a long while. That's all I can tell you. So I'll see you after the break. We have the hand wheel for turning your needle up and down, taking your needle up and down, your bobbin winder. Here we have the upper thread spool. Here we have your stitch length lever. When it's down, it sews forward. When it's up, it sews backwards. And this is how you adjust the stitch length. Here you have your lower thread spool and a tension disc for your bobbin when you're winding your bobbin. This is the bed of the sewing machine. This is the arm of the sewing machine. This is the third space or next space and it's a pretty high space on this machine. Here we have, let me bring this up. You have your needle set up and your presser foot and your feed dogs and your bedside. I'll zoom in closer for a better look. And your needle plate. This is the face plate and that's the tension knob. Now, you have your needle, your presser foot, underneath that is your feed dogs, you have your needle plate, and this is your bedside. Under there is your bobbin. Now this machine, like most machines, you can change the presser feet. You just have to unscrew it like this. And then you can switch to any other presser foot for different functions and it's easy to just screw it back in. Now we have your thread take up lever. You can see it goes up and down. That's your tension knob to adjust your tension. That's your presser foot lever that takes the presser foot up and down. Here we have a place for more oiling. It allows you to get into the engine. You also have the option of a motor, which you can just screw on and attach. And you attach it with a belt and that's the presser foot for the motor. Underneath, I'll just show you one more time. You can see it's all mechanical. There are oil points here and under there, those are the places you oil as you saw me do earlier in the video. Now this screw here is called a stop motion screw. Some machines have it, some don't. What it does is that it stops the needle from going up and down, as you can see. And when you lock it, the needle goes back up and down. That's how it works. That's your bobbin. That's your upper thread. The bobbin goes in here. Your upper thread goes on this spool. Take it around the tension screw, up towards the bobbin, and then we'll just wind it around a little just to secure it. And when that's done, we'll make sure everything should go down. You press them all down. It should lock down. And now we'll lock the stop motion screw. I'm just going to wind this with my hand because I don't have my motor belt at the moment, but you can see basically you will just start sewing. Just wind a little till we get a bit of thread. And we're done. And that's all there is to it. You unlock the stop motion screw, take the thread out, and move to the next step. Now I'm just going to put the thread back in the bobbin. 
case and the thread should come down the left side like a letter P. Let's put it into the bobbin case. Now we're going to bring out some of the thread through that notch on the side. Through the notch and underneath that little plate or latch, it should come out of the hole on the side. Here we go. If you've done it properly, the thread should move when you pull it and it's ready to go back into the machine. You just make sure the spin faces upwards when you put it back in the machine. So here we go. We're just going to put it in and it's ready to go. Just leave a little thread out like three, four inches. Now thread in the upper machine, take the thread, pass it through that groove, down around the tension knob. It should go between the two tension plates as you can see. Then through the hole in the thread take up lever. And there should be one more thread guide there that should go like that, but I don't have it. So I'm just going to go straight down. Now the needle, you have one more guide, pass it around that one. And then we'll thread the needle with threads from left to right. See if I can do this. And yes, here we go. That's all there is to it. You push your thread under the presser foot and to the back of the machine. Always try to make a habit of this so that your thread doesn't get caught up in your work. Now I'm just going to bring up the bobbin thread. Just turn the hand wheel towards yourself till the needle goes down and back up. And it should come back up with the bobbin thread. As you can see, that big loop. I pull that out. The bobbin thread is free. It will flow freely. If not, it's caught on something. I have to do it again. So that's all there is to it and we've come to the end of the video so please if you like this video share like subscribe and of course visit the website for even even more details oh yes coming up in the next two days i think will be the lesson on the industrial sewing machine and that will bring us to the end of setting up your sewing machine and from there we're going to move on into fabrics and handling your fabrics and laying out your fabrics and all the other good stuff about fabrics See you then. Thank you for watching.